Behold the power of states of matter! Greetings, science maximites! <coughs> I'm Phil McCordick. <coughs> I think I overdid it with the fog machine. <sighs> this is Science Max, experiments at large. Can you even see me? Let's, let's go over here. Today we're talking about states of matter. Now there are three main states of matter. Solid, like this table. Liquid, like the water in this beaker. And gas. Yes, thank you. And we're also gonna be looking at the things that kinda go in between. Things that are sometimes solid, sometimes liquid. Like cornstarch mud, which is very easy to make. All you need is water and cornstarch, which you can get at the grocery store. Mix it up however much you want, just remember, two parts cornstarch to one part water. Twice as much of this, then you have of that. Very easy, mix it up and you get cornstarch mud, which sort of seems like a liquid unless you hit it. And then it becomes solid. But if I pour it, it's a liquid. Even if I hold it in my hand and I hit it really fast, it turns into a ball and it will stay in a ball as long as I keep hitting it or squeezing it, but as soon as I stop, it turns into a liquid again. Now, we're gonna max this out. We'll go through the portal and learn more about solids, liquids, and gases. Yeah, right. That's why I'm going to the Center for Skills Development and Training at, oh no wait, that's the code for the fog machine. Wait, uh, stop. Stop, it seems to be stuck. Oh, uh, never mind, never mind. Uh, I'll fix it later. Right. Hey, Judy, how are you? Hi, Phil, how are you? Good. Judy is going for her PhD in chemistry, right? Yes. Fantastic, because that means you can explain cornstarch mud to me. Now, is this a solid or is it a liquid? Well, it kind of has properties of both. It's called a non-Newtonian fluid, uh -huh. so that makes it a liquid. A liquid, well, I mean, it pours like a liquid, but when you hit it, it's a solid. So why does it turn solid when you hit it? So when you're pouring it, the particles are still far apart, uh -huh. so they can interact with each other, and so they stay a liquid. But when you're hitting it, you're jamming the particles together, and they line up to become a solid. Now, does it still work the same way if we have a lot more of it? Uh, it should. Great, because I've got this 20 kilogram bag of cornstarch and I have 34 more of them. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, but I think you'll need a much bigger container. N much bigger container, great. Um, I got some wood over there. I want you to go and I'll follow you. All right. I'll follow you. Uh, uh, I got, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, uh. 